Let's discuss programming a little bit. Now, one of the selling points of this radio, for me, is the fact that you can get a USB programming cable for it, and which is $16, and uh, use your computer to program it. Same as I do with my uh, commercial radios. So that was a uh, that was a pretty big plus because there are things you can do with that that you can't do from the front panel. But I read uh, and watched videos and everything in a few places that said that uh, the way that you toggle between the uh, wide band mode and the 10 meter ham radio only mode is to hold down the function and scan buttons and uh, power it up and it says R E N D and then that's supposed to toggle I think I didn't yeah, I didn't get both of those pressed, I guess. I don't know, maybe I did. But anyway, what that does is it just resets. In fact, there's a sticker on top of the radio that says that details that procedure. And it says that's the factory reset. So, anyway, this is the mode that it arrives in. 10 meter mode. And, uh, by the way, function and this button wait a minute there we go function and that button not at the same time but function and then uh, what is that anyway this button right here, function button, and then release it and press this button, turns off the beep. Because, uh, I don't know about you, but I don't want the thing beeping every time I change the frequency or whatever. So anyway, this is the 10 meter mode. This is the way it comes out of the box, in the United States anyway. And so, it goes from... Well, it uses all 60 channels in each bank of frequencies. That's another selling point of this radio, in fact, is that it doesn't only have 40 channels per bank. It has uh, a possible 60 channels per bank. And so, in 10 meter mode, it goes from 28.000 megahertz on bank A all the way up to on bank F it only goes to 41 because that is the top of the 10 meter band 29.7 so that allows you to right there you'll use on the top end of 10 meters you use FM okay so that's what that does that's in the 10 meter mode now like I said, according to some sources I read, this procedure, uh, function and scan and power up, toggles between that and the 11 meter band set. And uh, that's not true. But I did some more digging around and I found that this is what actually works. And it actually does. So let's do this press the function and the SRF hold both of them down power it up and it says one band okay one band is 10 meter so you turn the channel selector until it says two band now th those are the only two choices and two band then you press function and it goes RES and then it goes R E and D then you release it turn it off, turn it back on, and 
it goes from channel 1 A 25.615 all the way to channel F 40 channel 40 bank F 28.305 now 28.305 is 5 kilocycles above the bottom of the single sideband section of 10 meters so that's really suboptimal but you know basically it means though that you can have it in this mode and now delta is 40 is the 40 US CV channels see 27.405 channel 1 is 26.965 so with it on delta in the 11 meter mode you've got the 40 channels and you've got to do this again there okay so that's what I found to work so far now I have heard I've read somewhere that there is a third mode actually I think I've read it a couple of different places there is a third mode that goes beyond this and instead of uh, you know being set up like this you know set up for the international 11 meter bands and the the typical uh, export radio programming is what this is in this mode and uh, but with the third mode according to what I've read it goes from the bottom end 25 dot whatever it starts at all the way up to 30 megahertz or maybe a little beyond uh, continuous coverage and uh, I don't know I've got to do some more research and figure out exactly how to access that and it may be that you have to do it with the computer programming to access that because that's what I really want to, to be able to access and I know that uh, when you program it by the by computer you can also you can have it in the the full coverage mode and also have the full 60 channels instead of just 40 in each bank so that'll be a good thing and you can set it up so that uh, channels and in fact the way I, I intend to set it up is I plan to set it up so that F is the FM subband basically or at least you know have it so the the upper couple of them are 10 meter frequencies so that uh, I've got oh uh, on, on the very top end I've got because AM activity on 10 meters is pretty channelized and FM activity on the top end of 10 meters 29.6 to 29.7 is absolutely channelized so I want to set it up for all of the FM channels all, all of the 10 meter FM channels including repeater splits which this will do repeater splits by the way and so set it up like that and you've got to have the programming software to do that and uh, then set it up for the AM channels and then set one bank up I guess for the uh, for the, the 10 meter single sideband steps you know that's not channelized but uh, the thing is I can set it up for with 60 steps I can set it up so that it's almost VFO mode and you can also set up set up the clarifier so it works basically as a VFO and that's pretty much that's pretty much doing it right there you know that works so anyway try something here just 
Hmm, interesting. Hmm, okay, it'll go to 315. Well, anyway, I've got the, uh, the programming cable on the way. I've already downloaded, downloaded the software. And when the programming cable gets here, hopefully tomorrow, I should be able to set it up the way I want it. But uh, the way it is, is functional. IBM ThinkPad Windows XP Pro I've had this laptop for about 13 or 14 years I guess and uh, I pretty much only use it for programming radios and uh, I just I downloaded the uh, software for the Anytone 5555 and uh, which was a free download and there it is I connected it to the internet just long enough for it to uh, find the driver for because I, I bought a cable off Amazon and uh, for the radio and I connected it to the internet just long enough for the for it to find the uh, the driver for the prolific chip that's in the cable and it did find it and so here we are now I can uh, program the radio to have it has A, B, C, D, E, F it has six different banks and uh, it's pretty much you know with it in the, the I guess export mode you would call it it has the typical uh, typical frequency set for a six band or six bank radio they call it bands but it's actually banks and so it's a a is 25 dot wait a minute let's go up to channel 1 25.615 and D Delta as is typical is CB frequencies 40 channels and you can also set what the the home channel is they call it a emergency channel because that's CB terminology but home channel press that that one button and it goes to that frequency so it's set for channel 9 now but I'm going to uh, change that since I never use channel 9 so I haven't decided yet which uh, which channel I'll use but uh, possibly 38 since that is the single sideband calling frequency okay and if we go to Foxtrot now what I did was I, I downloaded the uh, I read the data that was on the radio and I'm going to uh, I'm going to reprogram it I'm going to program some 10 meter frequencies into it including FM simplex and maybe repeater frequencies or I might yeah I'll probably program some repeater frequencies in it although it doesn't have a CTCSS tone board in it but uh, I think I've got one around here somewhere that I can I can add to it or if not I'll buy one off eBay or something because they are available not for this specific radio but for any radio universal and um, so yeah, oh, uh, Delta Bank is 20, 27.865 to, all right, come on now, 28.305, 
which is in the 10 meter band. I'm going to change that. I'm going to make, uh, I'm probably going to make the F bank 10 meter FM frequencies. Just entirely FM frequencies. And then, or maybe some AM. Yeah, because, you know, the way it was programmed from the factory, it has, you can either put it in, it, it comes out of the box in 10 meter mode. And at 10 meters, it has all six banks are 10 meter frequencies. And it has 60 channels per bank. And, uh, but with the front panel sequence, you switch, you can switch it over to export mode, and that's what makes it where it'll do 11 meters CB. And uh, it has all the CB export, uh, you know, various 11 meter frequencies for the, the various uh, international CB bands. Uh, the various CB uh, channel sets. I should say for for various countries because different countries have different channel sets but uh, so anyway but when you switch it into export mode as you can see it only has 40 channels or yeah 40 channels per uh, bank but by programming it with the computer you can give it back 60 channels per bank so that'll be good and uh, you can also, I mentioned repeaters, you can set up the, uh, well you have to actually set up the, the receive and transmit frequencies uh, separately. And if there are any channels that you want to, to be receive only, then you just, uh, you just enter a receive frequency and enter zero for transmit frequency. But for a repeater, you'll enter the receive frequency and the transmit frequency you know with the the offset whatever the frequency offset is and uh, so there you go and like a, like I was saying though I'll probably dedicate uh, bank F to AM and FM 10 meter frequencies and dedicate channel our bank echo to 60 channels of uh, 10 meter CW and uh, single sideband frequencies including the uh, the beacon subband so it'll be nice to put some beacon frequencies in there to listen around and the rest of them just you know different frequencies here and there I'm going to leave the uh, the CB frequencies in there, but I'm going to add some onto the end of it. And uh, I don't know if I'll use the entire 60 channels in each bank, but in some of the banks I will, or close to it anyway.